Hello everyone and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got a word problem. Um, it's one of these famous <laughs> age word problems where we compare the ages of two people now and in the future or now in the past um, and we work through those relationships uh, to figure out one of the people's ages. Um, sometimes these kinds of problems look daunting when you first look at them but they're really not that bad. Um, I've got a video um, describing the process uh, of doing the, these types of problems. Um, and I'll put a link to that uh, in the description, uh, which might be helpful. And basically, if you approach each of these problems that same way, um, these are really very simple. You just need to, you know, break them down in the small steps. So anyhow, let's get right into this one. Um, the problem starts out, says, John is eight years older than his brother. Uh, next year, John will be twice as old as his brother. Um, how old is John now? All right, so again, let me put another pointer on here. I always forget to do that. Um, John is eight years older than his brother. Next year, John will be twice as old. So if you'd like to, you can pause this video right now and try to work this one out yourself. Um, you may, this may seem easy, maybe not, um, but we'll come back and work this out together in a few seconds. So go ahead, take a, take some time to figure it out. We'll come back and do this together. Okay. Um, as I've described in a, in a previous video, um, one of the things you want to do is, um, you approach this like an algebra problem. If you take an algebra in high school, um, it's it's pretty easy to uh, to look at the younger person and set a variable equal to their age. Uh, when you look at the problem, we're, sa we're saying currently today, John is eight years older than his brother. Um, so we know the brother is the younger of the two, right? So why not make a variable, we'll call it X, could be anything. But I will set X equal to John's brother's age now. Um, so we'll set that equal to the younger person's age uh, in this problem. And then um, what are we looking at? We're looking into the future. We're looking one year into the future. So that means John's brother in one year, he would be X plus one years old. So we kind of know that relationship now. If John's brother is X years old today, he'll be X plus one years old uh, in a year. Uh, and then it, from the problem, we know that John is eight years older uh, than his brother, and that's as of today. Um, so um, uh, we know that John John's age today would be X plus eight. Uh, in one year, John would be X plus eight plus one, uh, which is really nothing more than saying X plus nine. Um, now here's where we get into the future part of it. Sometimes these problems, you know, they deal in the past, but uh, we're saying one year from now, John will be twice as old as his brother. Well, if in a year John will be twice as old as his brother, that means um, if we want to set up an equation, all we would need to do is double the younger brother's age in a year, and then that would equal John's age, because we're saying John will be twice as old as his younger brother in one year. So if we were to double the younger brother's age one year from now, that would equal John's age. That gives us an equation, right? So we know that in one year, John's younger brother will be X plus one years old. You see that here. Uh, so if we double that, that's taking two times the quantity X plus one. And then we would set that equal to John's age one year from now which we've already said was x plus 8 plus 1. Uh, simplifying that would just be x plus 9. Um, so yeah, if we simplify this equation out and try to solve for x, you're going to have 2x plus 2, uh, because you're going to take 2 times x plus 2 times 2. That's 2x plus 2 equals x plus 9. Well, from here, it's, it's pretty simple. I didn't go through all the, the steps of simplifying this. But you could easily see that, um, you know, if you subtracted 2 from both sides of the equation, this 2 would go away. This 9 would become 7 here. Then you've got a, a 2x and a 2. Well, you can subtract 
x from both sides of this equation, giving you just x over here. This x goes away. Remember that 2 already went away. So you'd have x equals 7. So, you know, take, take my word for it or work through that. If, if simplifying this uh, is an issue, uh, I'm sorry, I pray maybe I should have gone through the steps. Uh, I sometimes do that, but um, I didn't happen to do it in this case. But um, hopefully my explanation will suffice. But the answer would be x plus, um, I'm sorry, x equals 7. So that's telling us that John's brother's age, the younger brother, would be 7 years old today. All right, so that's good information. That means John's brother is now 7 years old. That's the younger brother. So next year, and we said John's brother uh, would be 8. That's 7 plus 1 is 8. And then a year from now, John would have to be 16 to be double his younger brother's age. So that means John today would have to be 15. Well, does that make sense with what we were told? Well, <clears throat> if John's uh, younger brother is seven years old, and we're saying John is 15 today, well, seven plus eight, <clears throat> excuse me, seven plus eight is 15, so that does match, right? Uh, that makes John eight years older than the younger brother. So uh, John's younger brother is seven. Uh, John is 15. Uh, one year from now, the younger brother will be eight. John will be 16. That's double. So yeah, when you when you look through that, um, that all matches the problem. So it's always good that once you figure these out, that you go back and and fit those numbers back into the word problem and see if they make sense. Uh, in this case, they do. So um, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, we've got a lot more to come. A lot more videos um, um, in the uh, we got a hundred and some videos here, but. Anyhow, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.